every time with like up oh, Joe, you shouldn't sing that. Because it's literally because like I think it was like PewDiePie or something, he like hummed a part of a song and like it got copyright claimed. Which just shows how scummy the fucking music industry is, like, you know? Like, it really is, like, horrible. That's why, like, I think that's the one reason I haven't really pursued music. Because I, I don't want to be wrapped up in that, like, in the shitty state of, like, the music industry. I think, like, I think if KSI, if he, if I remember his one correctly, it's actually a bit more fair. I'm just hoping, like, I'm right with that. Because if it is, like, hopefully we see more of his kind of, like, uh, music studios because I think he has his own one like he actually made one and I think a lot of big artists also like kind of like have made their own companies as well like their own music label because you know they're in full control of it and they actually get all the profits like unlike a usual music label where they could fucking milk you dry and like do things like Lamborghini like KSI can play that song he sung that song but he doesn't actually own that song which I found that to be fucking bizarre when I heard that. I'm like, wait, you're because you're with this music label, you don't actually own this song. Like, what bullshit is that? Like, that's actually horrible. And obviously, though, at the time, like when you're like small and like you don't know any better, you're like, oh yeah, music label, they'll push me everywhere. And obviously, they do, and they do make you famous and stuff. But if you're not getting your proper cut, like, it's just not worth it, like. Like, I know, oh, boo-hoo, billionaires missing out on millions, but, like, they still deserve that, like, they fucking... Especially if they wrote the songs and stuff themselves, you know? Like, I don't know. It's just it's just a shame if that's, like, the way that works. But, yeah, I don't know. That's why, like, I hope, like, if I ever do get into music, like, I just become my own, like, music label. Or make my own, like, little mini music label company or something. Like, make sure I get my profits first. And then, like, especially because I could decide, like, okay, do you guys actually deserve the money? Which, nine times out of ten, they probably would, especially if they're working for me. But, like, if they're being a bit scummy about it, then no. They probably wouldn't deserve, like, things. Especially if they go behind my back and do certain things and so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a very tricky place. Just, like, YouTube and everything else, really. Uh, I don't know. Sorry for going silent. I'm just I'm just collecting my thoughts. I'm just like, what should I talk about next? Because I feel like I should talk about something a bit similar to what I was just talking about. But part of me is also like, you can move on if you want. Like, you don't have to stay on this topic forever if you do not want to. But I don't know, man. I don't know. How about the ads, actually? Are all the ads done before I do the middle things? I think they are. Yeah, they're all done. Oh, well. I guess I'm doing the chairs. Nah, I'm doing this first. But, yeah. I don't know. To be honest, though, like, if if, an, if, if a multi-channel network, like, reached out to me, and, like, if I read their stuff and they seemed decent, I probably would sign up to them, honestly. Like, I know for a fact, like, if, um... Like especially if there's like trusted YouTubers that I know, they're in the network as well. I'm like, yeah, you why not just sign up to them? I'm not earning any money anyway. Might as well try and boost myself up. And obviously, like you know, you take advantage of that shit like whilst you have it. And then obviously, if you could do shit by yourself after that point, and like even make your own like multi-channel network or something, then you can split from them and be like, thank you for your services, but I'm going to do my own thing now, you know. And then you can finally like get all the profits you really wanted and so on so forth. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking like very businessy right now. It's just It's just, I'm kind of in like, I guess a business kind of talking mood. Even though like a lot of business can be like evil and it could be scummy but like, it's just the way businesses were made, you know? Like of course companies have to say they like you or else they won't, you won't buy their product like. You know, Coke won't turn around to you tomorrow and be like, oh, well, we, we fucking hate you. Buy our, like, drink, you know? Obviously, they're going to be, like, sucking your toes off and your dick and your clit and everything else in between just to get you to, like, sip even, like, a milli drop, like, of, um, milliliter drop of, like, Coke, you know? Like, that's just how business is, you know? And, like, it's the same with, like, plugging merch and stuff. Obviously, like, a lot of YouTubers will be like, yeah, no, it'd be lovely if you check this out. I worked hard on it and stuff. And obviously, like, 
there is a bit of truth in that, obviously, where, like, yeah, cool, like, they are, like, they did put a work into it, and there's good quality and good images and good designs for shirts and stuff, but there's also a side of, like, I have to, get, like, convince you to buy this product, basically. And not to say that you shouldn't be convinced. Obviously, like, if you want to buy stuff off somebody, you buy it off them. Like, I bought, like, Pyro's, like, shitty old merch, like, when that was on Black Friday sale, like... And I still have it, and it even made the character, like, Papa Pyro Cynical because of it. Or helped solidify the character Papa Pyro Cynical, you know? Because you know, like, Papa Pyro's around, like, when he's wearing that, like, uh, shirt. Or, uh, not shirt. Uh, sweater, that's it. Because, like, the detail of the order was sweater. But, um... Where are these separate? Please tell me these chairs are separate. That would be handy. I don't think so. Never mind. But, um... I don't know. I think I should just stop talking about it before I fucking dig myself a hole. But yeah, as of videos, I guess there's nothing much really change. Obviously, Honey Pop's still going. 25th, big things coming. Uh, the story I'm still writing. I've actually started writing a mini story as well, like on the side. It doesn't really connect to thing, but it's set in the same universe as the story I'm writing right now. Which is like, I don't know, it was kind of like eye fresh opening for like the first two days, but I haven't really gone back to edit it yet. It might just be like one of those stories that I just leave on the side for a while. It's just like, I have ideas sometimes, and then I'm just like, okay, do I want to include this in like the main story, or do I just want to forget about it? And nine times out of ten, I would be like, nah, just forget about it. But now I'm kind of just like, okay, you know what, if you have a good idea for a story, like just write, like give it a like temporary title, and then just like write about it a bit about it, and now we'll just leave it. Obviously like with mu uh, uh, Mutilation, we'll just say. We'll call it Codename Mutilation. That's not its actual name, but I nearly said its actual name. But, ha, huh, you won't figure it out now because I'm confusing you. Mutilation. Mutants. Mutants. Uh, Mutton. We have all these different names. What name is the actual name of the story? You will not figure it out now. Oh, man, fuck me. I can't believe I actually almost spoiled the... Like, the, the, the fucking mini story hasn't even been, like... It's not even past volume 3 yet, and I've already, like, almost spoiled the name of it, like. But yeah, you'll never figure out which title it is. What name of the story it actually is. But yeah, it's a mini-story. It's a nice... I'd say right now it's a... Might be a nice story. It could also be a really dark story, depending on the thing. And it's a more mature story as well. Like, there's a lot of, like, swearing in it. Because, like... For, um, the main story I'm writing... I basically was like, nah, we're gonna try and, like, not write as much swears into this one as much as possible. Even though, like, uh, one of the characters himself that's, like, in it, w like, would swear a lot, but, like, obviously in this version he's not. In this story. It it's so weird, though, like, when I'm writing this character, I'm like, damn, this fella's used, like, swearing his head off, but, like, in this he's not. Oh, yeah, so the chairs are separate. Oh, wait, let me go back then. I swear I just heard, like, a sonar beep go off. Why isn't this completing? Did it complete? I don't know at this point. You know, I don't want to do these chairs anymore. I thought it'd be, like, nice and, like, easy to do, but, like, they're kind of a pain. I'm not gonna lie. Especially, like, with the back. Like, you have to do all this back shit. Oh, that's probably why this one has to play, right? Or one of these. I can't remember which one anymore. Um, but yeah, I was gonna watch like the second Bang Dream live film, but like I was too late to the premiere, and like I was I was vibing to the song, and then suddenly it just said, um, what did it say? It was like, <laughs> it was literally like this video is no longer available. I'm like, damn it. But hey, at least I watched like the Attack on Titan episode that day, which might I mention that's ending soon, along with Tagagi San. Like, that's so weird to me. Like, I've been watching them for a while now. And, like, they're finally ending in, um... What do we call it? Uh, next week. And it has to definitely be next week. Especially with what tagagi sound led up with and, uh... What thing led up with. Oh, that's where I was missing. Epic. But, um... Wait, what section? This one. But, yeah, the, um... What do we call it? 
Takagi san and Attack of Time, I guess. Like, I remember, like, when I started to, like, because I was going to leave Takagi san for a bit, but I was like, you know what, fine. I've nothing else to do. Let's, like, start re watching, like, or not re watching, but, like, catching up on the episodes I missed out on. What? Is that oil? Oh, it's oil. Come on, man. Oh, wait, it's not mud gel. It's not metal gel, you dumbass. I swear I keep hearing a sonar beep. I think I'm going insane. Okay, let me just do up and down. Why not? Uh, um, but yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, they're the two concurrent animes that I'm waiting, like, weekly for. And obviously, I have, like, uh, Dress Up Darling lined up to watch again next. Uh, not again. Next. But, like, the thing is, I want to know when, like, the next episode's out. Because I think it's going to be 12 episodes. I feel like it'd be a show that would release with 12 episodes. But, um... Let's just say... Uh... What's we call it? I could watch. I could probably start watching Fire Force again if anything. But that's again dependent. But other than that, uh, my Funimation like trial because they charged me for a trial. Uh, don't ask why, but hey, you know what? I don't really care. I'm getting it anyway, whilst I can. Um, and it was kind of like cheaper in a sense. So yeah, I'm not totally mad about it. And plus, I did. I, yeah, I won't explain why I'm not too. Uh, chuffed, or not chuffed, but not too annoyed by it, but what I will say is by the time them shows end and my Funimation subscription ends that's when uh, Love Life Nichishaski, Kami Can't Communicate oh, what's the third one? Uh, oh, Love is War I think, yeah, I think it's Love is War, is it? it, it it's something like that, I think it's those three that are like all coming back in April so, like, when I finish with two uh, weekly concurring animes, I have three new ones. And not only that, the mad lads over at Love Live were just like, huh, animation? What's that? I, I swear it feels like they've rushed it, honestly. Because, like, Superstars, like, um, what you call it? Superstars, uh first season it only came out last year and they're already saying that season 2 is coming out like right after Nishijaski and I think if anything it'll probably be on the same date as well I can't remember if they said the exact date but it was basically um, in July so like right after when Nishijaski season 2 finishes Superstar starts up and also in July I think is Rent a Girlfriend and one other anime and then after they're done, we have, like, the next My Hero season in October. I don't think that's going to be the last My Hero season, though. I think there's going to be a few more. If my friend is right on that. Because so I think, yeah, it was Craig, I think, was saying, like, that. Um, like, this arc is meant to be, like, really good. But I don't think it'd be, like, the final arc. I think there's still a bit more. And, like, they have... I don't think... Yeah, they haven't even fucking finished first year yet. Like, bro... Like, they've been in first year for, like, nearly six seasons now? Like, bro, holy shit. That's so mad when you think about it. Because, like, in other shows, especially in um, Love is War, they kind of just skimmed over first year, I think. Or is it... Yeah, no, I think they completely skimmed first year, went straight into second year, and now they're all third years, and the show is going to probably end when they, like, finish third year. All in, like... Currently, right now, in, in this is the third season, so yeah, three seasons, which is just mad. I don't know, I just find that fact really weird. I don't know why. I don't know. Hopefully good shit happens anyway in those. Because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be like... I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed that like this anime didn't live up to my expectations. Oh man, and that's a thing I need to do as well. I need to lower my expectations. I need to do it now before I disappoint myself. Oh my god, there's so much oil on the ground. I don't want to clean it, man. I, I'm just not arsed. I'm actually legit not arsed. I was hoping by now I would get another project, but no. Maybe I need like 40% done or something like that. I don't know at this point. 
Because, like, this is the most powerful nozzle, and it can't even clean oil off the ground like this, bro. That's kind of cringe. Just like myself, you know? Oh my god, what's wrong with my shoulders? Ugh. Oh yeah, might have meant to as well. I posted, like, a photo on Instagram of, like, me wearing a red shirt. And, like, the reason I did that is because, like, as I said, like, it's been a while since I've worn a red shirt. And, like, I'm not gonna lie, it, it still feels weird to wear something red. Like, I'm not the kind of guy that wears red anymore, I don't think. Like, I've been wearing, like, grey, white, black, uh, blue, uh, striped sh white shirt with, like, some colours on it, Star Wars print. I don't think there's any other colours other than that. Like, the colour is more in my, like... Sweaters, jumpers, seasonal uh, clothing, like St. Patrick's and Christmas. And, uh, yeah, no, it was just weird getting this red shirt and be like, yeah, no, I haven't worn red in a while. It's kind of nice to wear it again. But, um, I will say, it is nice, though. Nice change. I'm hoping to buy more, like, colored shirts that are straight up just, like, Okay, this is like a dark purple shirt, and this one is like, uh, not brown actually, I just realized I have a brown long sleeve, I don't want another brown one. I don't really like wearing brown too much. I just wear it because it's a, like, passed down from my dad. And like, I wear it a lot, like, under stuff anyway, so like, nobody notices how loose it actually is on me. But, um, I, bro, why can't, yellow, there we go, let's just say, like, I want to wear a bright yellow and so on and so forth, you know? <laughs> I want to put a bit of colour back into my clothes. Especially since, like, when I replace my blind... Actually, I can even show you. Okay, maybe I... W there we go. Let's not toggle around with that. But yeah, as you can see in the background, like, I have this black blind. And, like, obviously that took a bit of colour away from the room. And obviously when you saw the colour of the walls, like, it's... Uh, it's a very, like, light... Uh, it, I think it was, like... I can't remember its actual name. I think it's just lilac. Like, lilac purple. And it's just like... It's a nice colour, you know? It's a pity, though, this monitor keeps scraping off the wall. Like, I see these black marks. I'm like, bro, why, am I, why have I done this to myself? Like, this is like... I've painted all these walls myself, and I painted the undercoat with Tang as well, and it's like, bruh. It's such cringe. How could I, like, mark my own wall? And, like, I'm not going to lie, there are some sections of the wall that I've started to realise, like, little tiny bits that have been just already chipped off. And you can just see, like, the old, like, orange and green colours underneath. I was like, bro, no, please, don't do this to me. But, yeah, no, again, I just need more colour and stuff. Like, in, um, my life, I guess. Like, what I wear, what I see, etc, etc. Oh yeah, I love the way, like, when it comes to the Rubik's Cube I have in my room, I swear I spent, like, at least around a tenner on that. And then yesterday, like, I was shopping. No, not yesterday, Monday I was shopping with my parents. And, like, I saw a Rubik's Cube in there, and it was just, like, GAA themed. It just, well, it, well, not really themed, but it had the GAA logo. And it was only, like, <laughs> it was literally only, um... Like, three quid. I'm like, bro, seriously? I could have got the same cube for three quid. Now, to be fair, though, the only uh, thing I'll give my Rubik's Cube is that it's actually big. I think that one in the shop we went to was actually smaller. So, yeah. Oh, why is it only against here? Like, you literally could proc it up against here. I don't see why you couldn't, like. That's so annoying. I guess I'll do a bit of this one here. I really hope Nick Cato like sorts out his life. Cause like it must be hell like what he goes through with man. Cause I actually like genuinely like feel bad for him and stuff. But then again, that could also play into this like master plan of just like you know, not only do people bully and troll him and like make fun of him for like who he is and have mental breakdowns and stuff, but he also could plan, like, you know, to on purposely keep having mental breakdowns so that people feel bad for him and stuff, you know? I don't know, like, I should really wish it against another creator, but, like, if his account was terminated, I would be, I would understand why. 
Like it, it's just it was a it's horrible to see like old photos of himself and then just see like what he looks like now, you know. Like it's just it's, it's such a shame, man. And I think he used to be a lot into a lot of fitness as well. Yes, I did stagger there because when I thought of fitness, I thought somebody was gonna say, huh, "Fit these nuts in your mouth," <laughs> because you know everybody has the same comedy. Everybody has the same funny bones. Even though comedy is subjective and we all laugh at different stuff, I like a lot of dark humor because TikTok has reawakened my dark humor bone. Uh, am I proud of it? Not really, but like it is how it is. Especially the Paralympics account. That that account be mad like with some of the things it posts. Oh yeah, I literally could use. Why haven't I been using this, bro? Okay, that's why. Because I can't use it forever. But um, oh, can I get down? There we go. But, like, it was so weird, though. Yesterday, like, the Paralympics, like, uh, I got recommended one of their, like, uh, TikToks. And it was literally, like, a Mary O'Hara, like, uh, voice clip as well. So, like, a Love Live member clip. And I was like, wait, what? Paralympics plus Love Live? What is this nonsense? And, like, um... I don't know. It's just such a weird, like, coincidence. And, like, I looked at the sound afterwards. It has, like, over, like, 400,000 views. I'm like, when? To be fair, though, like, Love Live TikTok has a lot more views than I thought it would. But I have to also remember, like, Love Live is actually kind of popular, I guess, in Japan to a certain degree. Because there are still, like, concerts and stuff being held by the, like, the, um, Sayus, I think everybody calls them. The, uh, like, idols themselves. But, yeah. I don't know if I've talked about it much though, but there's going to be like VTuber Love Live members as well. I don't know how I feel about that. Because you know for a fact they're cashing in on a trend, but you don't really know if that's going to work. Like, there's a big difference between the stuff that like the Sayus and when they voice act their characters in like the games and in the uh, uh, animes themselves. But when it comes to like VTubers, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know, I guess I'm kind of interested to, eh, interested to see, but I guarantee, like, a lot of it's just going to be in the Japanese anyway, and not really translated, so I'm not really going to bother watching it, you know? It'd be nutty, though, if they're like, oh yeah, by the way, like, here's, like, the, let's say, for example, there's, like, five members or something. Like, here's the five members, and they're all streaming on the official Love Live channel, like, on YouTube, all at the same time. It's just like, whoa, we have all these streams, and then we have, like, the uh, usual, like, talk streams, the usual... Uh, Sayus have as well. I don't know. It's just, I'm not really into the voice actors themselves. I watch, like, a clip or two of them every so often. But I'm not, I'm not, like, dead, like, in love, like, with all the members and stuff, you know? Like, not like a lot of people. But hey, I'm not saying I would pass up an opportunity to see one of their lives, like, in Japan itself. That would, that would actually be fire. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm more into, like, I guess the anime and song aspect of it, rather than the actual real-life equivalent to it. And I guess that's where the VTuber thing might just fall for me, especially if they're, like... Like, I feel... If there were VTubers, they probably would get an anime. Actually, you know, it would be interesting if they got an anime, and it was, like, the first 3D anime for, like, Love Live that wasn't just, like, a music video. Because, like, some, like, Love Live music videos are in 3D, but the fucking models in them are so good. Like, they actually, like, design everything in that really well. So, like, I let them off with that, you know? If anything, of all the things I'd love to see, I'd love to see, like, an all-stars, like, anime in 3D. I think that'd be so, like, cool. To just see, like, all the members, like, uh, in an actual, like, animation. All at the same time. Because, like, the trailer kind of showed, like, the 3D, like, models moving around and stuff, but they didn't really, like, do much else with them in the game other than just include them in live shows and stuff. Because I was kind of convinced that the, um, 3D models would be used for the, um, like, the stories, but they weren't. It was just, like, the normal 2D. But to be fair, like, the 2D sprites have been, like, kind of upscaled and, like, they've been improved upon as well, so, yeah. Especially when I compare it to the old game. And, like, obviously, you could argue, like, 
if they really needed to, <clears throat> if they really needed to, like, uh, make the, the new game, like, All-Stars years ago, but I think it was a good idea. I really do think it, like, improved, like, the quality of the game overall, like, having a new game. That's why, like, I don't really mind too much that, like, Destiny 2 exists instead of having Destiny 1. You know? Like, it did improve the quality quite a bit, and Bungie have improved the engine multiple times, and so on and so forth, so, yeah. But, um, what was it? I think, yeah, no, I think Bang Dream released a trailer recently that they're going to be, like, adding, like, the ability for 3D models to be able to put on, like, live performances as well. So you know for a fact that's, like, kind of rivaling Love Live in a way, but it's kind of not rivaling it at the same time. Because, like, all of these, like, Bang Dream, D4DJ, Love Live, all of them companies are kind of all, like, under Bushy Road. So, like, I don't really think they're competing with each other. I, can't, I think, like, they're all doing different stuff. Well, well, yeah, no, they kind of all do different stuff, and then they kind of just copy from each other what works, you know, what actually fits into the game. So, like, for example, Love's Live's, like, kind of training mode. Like, let's say that didn't exist anywhere else. That's not really in anything else, because other games are like, eh, we don't really need that. But obviously, like, the 3D performances in Love Live are used in other games and upscaled as well, because, like, oh, yeah, this actually looks nice. We should probably start adding this kind of stuff into the game and stuff. But what I will say, for, though, for, like, Bang Dream is they're going to be, like, massively behind on the amount of, like, models and shit they have to make for thing. Like, amount, the amount of live shows they're going to have to animate for thing. Especially if they're going to, like, animate them from scratch as well and not use, like, in-game assets. And if they don't swap around, like, love live characters do, then obviously that's going to be a downfall. But, yeah. I don't know. I've just been secretly hoping that they'll release, like, the Bang Dream Switch game, like, in Ireland, but I don't think they will. But I did read somewhere that, like, if you just have, like, a different Nintendo account, you could still, like, um, use that regional account to play it. Which, I, I want to test that theory out, but I also don't want to risk it as well. Like, I don't want to, like, buy or, like, make an American Nintendo account, and then, like, buy it on this thing and then it's like oh your uh, switch's region is set to ireland sorry you can't play this which might i say like regional blocking is actually such bullshit like why does it even exist it's so stupid like like bro like I, I, it must be some light weird licensing issues you know like if anything it's, it, 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 it happens a lot in like japanese like uh, anime and games and stuff. Like, hell, even fucking Love Live was, like, multiple different games until they at least merged, like, the English and the uh, Japanese versions of the old game together into one. Just to save on, like, server space and stuff. And then they also, like, have, like, the worldwide edition of, um... Uh... They have, like, the worldwide edition of uh, thing in line with updates with the Japanese version. It's just like, why, though? <laughs> to be fair, though, I, I, I will give them a good point on that, though. That, like, if the Japanese players were allowed on the EN servers, even though I bet a lot of people already, like, cross-play on different servers anyway by having different accounts. But, like, if they merge the two, like, all-star versions together, obviously including the Chinese one, because that's way behind, and, like, that one's probably heavily modified for, like, China specifically... Um, if they were to, whatchamacallit, if they were to merge them, then my ranking, like, in multiplayer, like, events would just go downhill. I would, <laughs> I would fall from grace like the great Johan, eh? I would. I would actually, I would literally be a fallen, like, not angel, just fallen devil, I guess, at that point. I get, oh yeah, now that I think about it, <laughs> literally the opposite of Fallen Angel would be Ascending Devil or something like that. But Ascending Devil sounds kind of like, it kind of sounds like evil. Fallen Angel kind of sounds like Majestic, you know? But, um... Yeah, wait. Oh, why the... Bro, there's something wrong with 3T, and I didn't even realize that until now. Hold on. Why does it keep fucking... Oh, because I keep kicking the fucking wire, you dumbass. Like, okay. 
There, bro. I, 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 for a second there, I thought my, like, I, oh, sorry. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. I thought, like, um, it was just temporarily just, like, leaning to the side like that. I didn't think it was like that for the whole time, like. Oh, man, that's so annoying. Like, I think it's just the USB ports on the front of my computer are weakening. I don't know if I can fix them, but I don't really want to open up my computer and fuck around with it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I could always still try and use the USB ports in the back, so... Yeah, it's not too much of a problem. And I still have, like, that thing that allows me to plug in one USB device and have four extra slots, so... I could always just use that or something. Maybe even put it on the front of this and, like, blue tack it down so it stays still. But, um... What was I mentioning? Yeah, I love live and stuff. And, like... I don't know. I, I'd love to own the... Like, I know it, like, costs quite a bit of money to have, like, the Bang Dream version. But I heard from people... I might actually look up videos on it just in case, and then I might actually, like, go into it. And I might even look up a video on how you would go about making the Nintendo account regional stuff. Even though it's probably simple. It's just, like, when you make the account, just set your region stuff. But, um... I'll read that in a sec. But... The, um... Uh, what should we call it? The issues... The issue... I don't think there's an issue. Like, I'm willing to put a bit of money into it. The good thing about it, there we go. The good thing about it is the fact that, um, whatchamacallit, once you pay for it, you're, you're pay like, you're getting what you pay for, basically. And, like, they, I think they already have a pass out, because when I was looking up information on it, they said they had, like, the first, like, pass out for, like, Monophonica and, like, Raise a Ceiling. So they are updating it, but they'll probably have, like, another pass in the future that adds, like, the rest of the content in. Potentially? Maybe? I don't know. Or at least they added, like, bits to it. I don't know. It's a game that you can play from start to finish as well. And, like, you can probably constantly... Like, I don't think they have, um... The energy system, or the LP system, or the resin system, or whatever, like, the mobile games want to call it. Uh, gacha games, I'll call it, because a lot of them call it different things to be different. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't do, didn't do up there. But, um, oh, I didn't do under there as well, I don't think. But, um, whatchamacallit. The, like, the best thing about it is if it doesn't have the energy system or uh, you don't have to pay for gacha, that's good. Because I read somewhere that you don't have to pay for the gacha for it, which is a big, like, Big, like, whoa, you don't have to pay for the gacha? How did, how did, like, how did Nintendo convince them? It must have been Nintendo, right, that convinced them to be like, nah, just sell it full price or don't sell it at all, you know? And, like, obviously it's not free. But, like, yeah, if it was free, then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's probably just the gacha game then, just put on the Switch. But, um... Oh, another thing as well, I think, like, I don't know if you have to use Joy-Cons, but I'd love to, like, play it with the Joy-Cons, because I think that'd be a, like, fun way to get back into it as well. And obviously, like, for a lot of the story stuff, if I've already, like, read it, I'll just be like, yeah, skip, 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 and skip, you know? And as I was saying, like, you get to an ending, because, like, the gatch is limited. There's, like, not everything is in it. All the collaboration events have been, like, basically removed from the version of that version of the game, because, like, you know... When they originally collaborated, it was for a limited time and only on the mobile versions of the game, so... Or certain mobile versions, because, like, Bang Dreams also split in two as well, but they do different, like, collabs. Like, the last collab I remember, like, I think I low-key, like, downloaded the game just to play Baby Shark. Because <laughs> it was so funny, and I even made, like, a little meme video on it as well, and, like, it's the most, like, depressing-sounding video ever. Like, I actually kind of, like... I hope people don't take it too seriously, but it really does sound like I was actually going to, like, off myself for, like, how bad, like, the collab was. But it, it was funny, though. It was funny. I was kind of hoping at least, like, that, like, um, someone would sing. Like, it'd be a cover of it or something. It'd be in Japanese, so you can vibe to it a bit better, but nah. They just straight up ripped the English song and put it straight in and put a beat map over it. And we're like, damn, this is it. See, at least though, when it comes to D4DJ, that makes sense though if they do that, but like, they already like, remixed the song, so it's like, all good, you know? Like, I know, like, D4DJ caught my interest like, a few times when I realized there was literally Love Live songs in thing. <laughs> it's so funny actually when I think about it. 
the old Love Live game has Liela and has a bunch of their songs and cards and stuff. D4 DJ has like two or three of their songs. I think it's two. Yeah, two of their song, like Liela songs. And like they're not even a Love Live game. And then you look over to uh, fucking Love Live All Stars. They don't have thing. They don't have Liela songs at all anymore. They just recently, with the last, like, maintenance update, they removed, like, the only, li like, Liela song they have in the game. It's like, what? No, why'd you take this away? I, I wasn't playing this for a while, but still. Oh. Another thing I mentioned about Liela and Superstar. If I'm right, I think the main reason they wanted, like, Nijushaski and Liela to play one after another is that, like, if everything goes to plan and, like, there's no delays like last time... Superstar will probably end on, like, Sif's uh, All-Stars anniversary. Third anniversary, because right now it's 2.5 anniversary. And if that's right, that's actually such good timing. Like, holy shit. I just hope the animation's not skimped out on, because, like, I don't usually care about animation in Love Live, but, like, if it's really obvious, it might actually turn me off from, like, watching the series, you know? And I already wasn't really too big into, like, Superstar. I, I I really liked it. But, like, it wasn't as good as Nijijaski to me. And, like, I think I've put Nijijaski on too much of a higher pedestal now. So, like, if that ever, like, comes out, I hope I just don't have the expectations too high. As well as, like, new Love Live seasons and stuff. I, I'm still kind of hoping out. Like, I know it's never going to happen, but I'm kind of still holding out for, like, a... Like a fucking, um... Love Life Stoneshine Season 3. But then again, the story ended in such a good way in the movie. It'd be a shame if they brought it back. But if they brought it back for a reason, it'd be to see, like, how, like, Aqua are doing as, like, the second years, the third years, the first years are now second years, and they don't have, like, anyone else in the group yet, and they'll probably go through turmoil of, like, oh, you want to join the group? But well, they probably shortened, and, like, they're in a new school, so there'd be new uniforms and shit. It just, it'd be all new and cool and stuff, but, like, again, I doubt they'll really do it. But I wouldn't be opposed to it, per se. I don't know. I know that, like, um... Like, Johanna is getting, like, her own kind of, like, magical, like, story on the side. I don't know if they're ever going to do anything with that, but it'd be cool to see, like, a little animation of that. Hold on, let me move that. Yeah, I knew it. There was, like, a bit of dirt underneath there. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. There's just, like... That was a cool coincidence I found out on, like... And, like, again, just circling back to, like, the Bang Dream thing. Like, as I said, like, if there's no, like, LP system, I won't be, like, forcing myself to, like, play at certain times of days and stuff. So I could leave the game for a bit, come back, and it'll still be the same. Nothing will change. That's the main reason I dropped every other gacha game and just kept up with, like, All-Stars and sometimes play the old game when, like, I want to. Like, on the off chance. It's just because, like, I, I feel the pressure of being like, okay, I have to do this, use up that LP, use up this LP, use up this energy, use up that energy, and use up this resin and stuff. That's why, like, with Genjin, I didn't really care about it too much. It's just a game I pop in and out of. It's the first gacha game I've really popped in and out of before a uh, thing. All-Stars. Uh, uh, Sif. But, um... What should we call it? Yeah, again, with the, like, with the Bang Dream Switch game, like, it, it'd just be nice to just have a game where I'm like, you know what, I feel like playing this right now. Let's do a bit more of it, you know? And I actually feel, it would actually feel like unlocking all the story and stuff and leveling up the groups and stuff to their max level and my account and stuff. It'd just be cool, you know? Again, as long as there's no, like, energy system and, like, the gacha's not paid for. And if the rewards are generous enough to give you stuff for the gacha. Because if they're not, then, like, it might actually take a bit to do. And, like, that might be a bit problematic for me. But, yeah. I don't know. I refuse to pour too much money into gacha. The only, oh, like, time I've ever poured money into gacha was for, like, the old Sif game. Like, Love Live Sif game. And, like... I only gave it a fiver because I was like, yeah, you know what, I like this game, I'll give you a fiver. And that's literally the only reason. The only other money I've spent on a gacha game was for All-Stars, and that was just to buy, like, one month for the, um, season pass when that, like, came out and after my trial of it. 
like, to be fair, it actually provided me with good bonuses, and it even gave me, like, extra LP to use during, like, the day as well. But, like, I eventually just started running out of, like, um, Tiggy tickets, the, uh, skip tickets. But, like, right now I have 500, so if I was to buy it again, I actually would, like, I'd be, like, well off right now, but I don't know. It's just, like, I, I, I don't really need it. I'd only buy it on, like, an occasion or something, if I really, like, wanted to, like, treat myself or something like that. Or if I needed to speed up getting stuff. Because, like, to be honest, like, it is very incentivizing. Like, there's stuff in it that you can do that you can't read. Or, like, there's stuff in it that you can do that negates the long wait of, like, waiting for ages to collect, like, a certain material to do certain things. Like, for example, I limited increase somebody today. But if I bought the pass right now, I could literally limit increase somebody else again in the next, like, few days. Because, like, they give you, like, special, like, all-star scouting, they give you, like, all-star, um, like, more, uh, member coins, that's it. Because, like, member coins are hard to come across when you're a free player. Like, you only get, like, five a day, which is actually a bit surprising. I never thought they'd give you any, but I think it's to, like, keep reminding you that, hey, yeah, the all-star pass exists, you know, you might want to buy it at some point, you know? And, like, that's fair enough, that's a fair point to have it in, but, um, Oh yeah, I'm sorry, my stomach was just, like, hungry. I was like, what time is it? It's like, oh, it's nearly 12. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It is incentivizing the training. You get, like, double, like, the rewards in. I'd say it is kind of worth it for its price. But then I look at, like, the old game, like, oh my god, why the fuck are there, like, three passes? Like, are they planning to do this to, like, all-stars as well? And, like, not only that, there's, like, ads that you can play now. At least they're not intrusive ads. They're, like, um... The ads, like, only play if you want them to play. Like, they'll ask you, hey, would you like to play this ad to get this specific thing? And, like, it's usually, like, eh, nah. Like, I'm good. Because, like, it could, like, give you an ad where it's, like, 30 seconds. But at least you can skip it, I think, in 5 seconds. So, like, they're not... <clears throat> they're not being too greedy with the ads yet. But, like, the day, like the old game, like, gets too many ads is when it'll die. Like, I really hope it never reaches that, but I feel like it will. And I really hope they do, like, I know, like, Bang Dream is on Switch, but I really hope, like, Love Life for once decides to one-up them and be like, you know what? We're gonna make, like, the, our old game available, like, on Xbox and PC. Obviously, well, just everything. Yeah, Xbox, PC... PS5 and Switch, you know, and all that. Like, I hope they do port the old game to, like, different consoles, so at least it's, like, preserved, you know? Because you know for a fact, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I would be like, nope. Well, I don't care. It's price. Just give me it. Oh, 500 quid? Like, the actual, like, PS4 game? Dandy. Let's get it. And that that's actually true, by the way. There is, like, a PS4 game that's also available on PS5. Uh, called Love Live... Okay, wait. Oh, I'm... Ah, fucking hell, the title's so long. Love Live YY... Home Meeting Away From Home? Or is it Love Live After School Away From Home YY Away From Home Meeting? I don't know. It's, it's just a long title. That's all you have to know. Like, if they have fucking Love, Love Alive U, School Idol Festival U, All the Stars U, then they're bound to have more long titles. But it's meant to be like a port of an arcade game and a lot of people kind of gave it shit because it's literally just like, oh, you want all the songs, costumes and all that shit? Then here you go. Pay us like over like $600. And you may be like, wow, that's kind of steep. But like, they're not really asking you to buy that all in one go and I'm no stranger to like buying a lot of stuff. It is absurd like how much you have to pay. But think about it this way, right? Would you rather pay 600 up upfront or would you rather pay, like, thousands on an arcade game to play for a few seconds? I don't know how the arcade game works, so I, I'm assuming that's how it worked. So, like, ju just think about it, right? Like, they, like, unironically, they are providing you an actual better offer than the arcade machines could ever offer you. Which is kind of bizarre to think about when you think about it. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, at one point I was kind of tempted to get, like, a PS4 or a PS5. But, like, 
I'm not really arsed hooking up a PS4 up to my PC like monitor just to play it. And I don't want to like move around my shelves again just to put my TV back on it and just play like PS4 games and stuff. I could get a PS5, but sex sell them at fucking 520 quid when you, like... Oh no, it's not 520 quid, it's like 720 quid or something like that. They give you 520 quid for uh, trading it in, which is literally like, uh, obviously, convinces you to that you should probably start scalping PS5s. And also, funnily enough, I have that kind of money. I could scalp a few PS5s and get a bit of money, but I'd only be getting... I won't be getting much, let's just say that. I'd only get like a few hundred maybe. Or not even a hundred actually, I wouldn't even get that many. But, yeah, it's just mad. Mad. My throat is already going dry because I haven't talked this much in a while since the podcast episode. But, like again, as I said, they really should pour that. Now... If they ported, like, All-Stars onto, like, a, the Switch or onto, um, like, other consoles, PC, etc., would I still? I don't know. And the main reason, though, the reason they don't actually have, like, they don't uh, trust Xbox and PC is because in Japan, like, PC gaming and Xbox gaming is actually really low. So, like, if you're Japanese and somehow watching the stream and understanding everything I'm saying, please please just buy a bunch of Xboxes and PCs and convince the Japanese, like, game producers that, oh, wait, there's a, there is a market here that's untapped. Especially because, like, Xbox especially has fucking very little, like, anime games. Like, I bet, like, PlayStation don't even have, like, exclusive rights to the game. It's just they were chosen because, like... It's just because they, they're like, oh, yeah, Sony, our brethren, our Japanese brethren. Yeah, let's just let's put our game on their console, you know? All I'm saying is I'd love to just see, like, Bang Dream, D4, DJ, all them other games. Just on PC as well. I don't know. It'd be cool to spec... Like, the only anime game that I could technically look into getting, even though it's not backwards compatible, would be, like, the Idol Master game. But I don't know. And I know they did, like, a PS Vita game as well, Love Live, but unless they remaster it and bring it back, I'm not really going to bother buying it. I kind of looked at it, and I kind of, like, I cringed at, like, how old it looked. Let's just say that. Like, it's really early footage of, like, it, 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 it's, it's so funny, though, in a way, because, like, you compare the PS Vita game to, like, the mobile game, and it's like, what the fuck? These two are, like, in different leagues. Like, the mobile game looks so much better. Like, this is the old mobile game, by the way. Not All-Stars. The old, like, game looks so much better than Thing. And the arcade even looks better than the PS Vita as well. Like, they kind of just released it on PS Vita, maybe because it was a fad. And they released, like, three versions of the game as well. Like, for the three sub-members of, uh, Muse. But again, I, I wouldn't be opposed to them bringing it back and remastering. It's been, like... 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's been, like, almost nine years now since they released that on the Vita. So, like, they could bring it back for, like, PlayStation, for Switch. Especially Switch would probably suit it more. Um, if they... If Steam catches up, like, hype in Japan, uh, Steam Deck, then you never know. Maybe, like, they'll be like, oh, maybe we should have our game on Steam. What is Steam? And they're like, oh, PC platform, but, like, they also have a handheld thing. It's like, huh, interesting. Let's put our game on that. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, I should just message, like, whoever's in charge of, like, Bushy Road and, like, Lantis and Sunrise and all them. Be like, yo, hear me out here, right? Steam just unveiled, or, like, not unveiled, but, like, they're selling, like, Steam decks, like, hotcakes right now. You guys might want to, like, port one of your games over to this device. It'd be pretty epic if you did. And obviously they see, like, portable. Like, oh, portable. That Yeah, we, we have, like, partners who went portable. Uh, yeah, maybe we should, like, look into this partner as well. See if they're any good. And then they realize they're stinking Americans. And they're just like, no. We will not partner with American company. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry. That, that's, like, low-key kind of racist. I'm sorry. But, like, um... You know, like, fucking Japan is kind of xenophobic, like. But, like, it, it is how it is, you know. It, it'll take Japan a while to catch up the rest of us. What they really need to do in, like, Japanese businesses is, like, stop providing so many jobs, like, pointless jobs. Not even just jobs, just pointless jobs. Because as far as I'm aware, like, 
managements could be like made up in like the hundreds of people like unnecessarily so like if you wanted to add like let's say you wanted to like fucking increase the bus size of a character in a hentai game you'd have to go through like like tens of different people just to go through tens of different more people to go through like a few more people just to be like oh yeah by the way this guy like wants like a bus size in this character to go through and they're like yeah why not but, like, that process took, like, two months to get there, you know? I don't know. And, like, they they mustn't be a stranger to fucking burnout as well. And, like, oh, uh, like intentionally or unintentionally, like, overworking people and shit as well. But, like, it'd be, it'd just, it'd be cool. It'd be faster. It'd be just epic. I got, of course, as long as everyone else has, like, got actual, like jobs that are like needed as well that's like obviously a good thing as well maybe that's a fear as well though they don't want to break down the stereotypical business like kind of model in case like you know you know fucking millions of japanese people go without jobs like but i don't know they could announce the thing like um they could announce it as a thing like not in law but like as it changes in the company and encourage it and have it be like a thing that happens like over 10 years or something like that because like they like when it comes to change you can't change something overnight it takes a bit of time for change to actually take effect and like settle in you know you can't just go up to like you know the president be like lol sit, sit down or get out get out of that seat i'm the president now you know like like even when the president is like selected and elected and the yeah, old one has to leave like it takes like a few weeks or months like depending on the country before like the president is like um actually like fully removed from office in his position and the new one comes in you know but obviously like it's different for different things like obviously from a youtube like if i wanted to change my profile picture i don't have to run it through 500 different people before i'm like yeah let's just change the profile picture you know i'm just like yeah just change it and obviously I changed it recently and it'll change again on the 25th and hey, I don't even have to talk to people about it. However, I will admit, no, nah, actually I won't say that, that might spoil the thing. I, I've been doing a good job at staying away from that topic, but now I'm about to veer back into that topic. So let's talk, oh, okay, the whole, is the wall divided with the bar? Oh, huh. maybe I should do, hold on, maybe I should do the wall instead. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I shouldn't judge another country too harsh. It's just, like, even, like, I bet, like, even when, um, like, people look at us as well. Give us a sec. Oh yeah, I didn't even need to pause. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, even when Japanese people look at us, they must think we're fucking weirdos as well with the things we do and whatnot, like. Especially, like, when everybody starts pointing fingers at America and looking at, like, places like Florida and Alabama and stuff. And Yeah, I think you know where I'm going with that, but... Every country has its own kind of, like, etiquette, has its own kind of, like, vibe, its own like rules that are not set in stone but like everybody in the country understands like what it is like yeah like obviously like especially in japan like i'd still find the like the vibe of like an onsen like so weird because it's like why would i take baths with like why would i take baths with my friend when i could just do it privately by myself but when you think about it honestly like the last time i had a bath is like Probably when I was, like, I don't even know, a child? Like, so, like, it actually would be a nice thing to do. And, obviously, it would break down, like, it, it probably, it would ironically bring me closer to my bros, you know? I would, like, I say it's weird, but I would still do it. If somebody said, oh, yeah, here's a trip to Japan, but you have to go into an onsen to complete the trip. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And, like, I don't know if I feel comfortable with other, like, people that I don't know, but it'd be funny as well if we're all just, like, taking the sh like, piss out of each other, you know? Like, then I wouldn't mind. I just have to make sure not to get tattoos, though, in the meantime, because, like, tattoos are, like, kind of frowned upon in Japan, and, like, 
they won't let you into like certain areas if you have tattoos. Even though tattoos used to be a symbol of like honor, especially among like firemen and policemen, I think it was, or especially firemen, like would get like tattoos on them. So like if their body burns or something in certain like in a certain way, like they'd still have like a bit of their tattoo showing to like tell them, oh, this is this guy who's just died on us. Rest in peace. You did well, like braving the fires and stuff, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna go on lunch real quick, but I wanna clean this. I want this to be clean, man. I don't wanna leave this wall yet. I love the way I made it. Actually, there, just do that instead. There you go. It showed me that much, right? If this part of this wall does not complete this, I'm actually gonna be so annoyed. There we go, that's it. Right, we're 53% of the way. Let's see how much I can keep going before, like, I, uh, like, can't talk anymore because my voice is in bits now, so. Yeah, uh, I have no ad for this one, so I'm just going to play the, video, uh, the, the you know, supporting Ukraine ad. Ah, oh, that was such a good sandwich, man. Two things I want to mention before we continue. Next stream, I might try, like, if I remember to turn off the delay. I might turn off the delay. And I'm going to jinx this now. But the stream, like, especially last week, have been doing well since I got the adapter. So I think, like, it actually made a difference. At least it made it probably, like, more consistent or something. Because I've been looking at that square every so often, and it's just still green. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, Jesus. And, uh, two. I forgot to update <laughs> everyone about the story. I'm almost done editing volume three. I'm, I know, it's mad. If anything, if I'm mad enough today, I might actually, like, edit the rest of it, um... Whatchamacallit? I might edit the rest of it, like, today. Because there's only, like... <clears throat> there's only two chapters left. Uh, the first of the two isn't too short, but it's, like, shorter compared to the rest of them. And when it comes to... Uh, whatchamacallit? When it comes to... I Oh yeah, two... Sorry, I was looking at the list earlier and like I said, two clocks weren't washed properly. There we go. That's one of them. But, um... There's that and then the next ch uh, volume after that, that was the last one. And usually when I get to like the end of a volume editing one, I'm like, ah, yeah, screw it, go on, Joe. Finish it up. So I could be moving on to volume four... Or I could be making a brand new volume, depending on why I edit next. Because I've been saying to myself for a while now, like, I literally need to add, like, a brand new volume to, um, thing. Okay, wait. One of these clocks is missing. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna just... Oh, they... what are these? This is the first air vent. I never even noticed those. Wait, these are hollow? Wait, no, these ones are... Yeah, they're, they're thick. Okay. Wait, where is... Uh, yeah, here, Joe. I should really leave it on and stop running. So, like, you know, when I'm looking around randomly like this, like, it'll just do random parts of the thing. But I think right now, I just want to try and get as much, like, satisfaction points as I can. Do I? Oh, it already did under there. Never mind. I'm not doing this. Fuck that. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine. I'll look up the clocks. Where's the clocks? Which one's left? That's that one down there. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Is it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Maybe I need to move. Yep, there you go. That's it. Um, I think I'll do the pillars next, because there's... Actually, can I do this? Is this, like, its own little thing? Oh, I thought my character was a uh, VTuber model just looking up randomly. I'm like, why are you looking up? Did I trip the wire again? Yeah, okay, that can be done. So, because I know that, I could do the pillars or... Oh, wait, the other one's... <laughs> I love the way I just see it. I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, that's already clean. Wait, is the underside... Oh, oh. Is the underside of this clean? Well, this isn't, obviously, but... Hmm. I could do this light, actually. This is probably a small one to do as well. Oh, wait, actually, let me... There we go. See, this actually looks like I'm looking directly up at the thing. Um. Oh. Really? 
That doesn't complete from that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, I knew that. We're gonna light it up, 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 light it up, 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 light it up, 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 fire. Pull me out, 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 pull me out, 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 please, 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 somebody. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. And it's weird to think, like, for as long as I've, like, you don't really think about this too much, but, like, for as long as you've lived, you've probably already, like, I don't think anybody could really pass, like, without, like, hearing, unintentionally hearing, like, dozens, like, not even thousands, but, like, probably hundreds of thousands of songs. And you don't even know all their names. Like, I definitely don't. Like, look at my YouTube playlist. There's only, like, 600 or so out of all the songs I hear. And then, like, there's other, like, anime playlists of, like, songs that are just, like, I don't want to put in the main playlist. And there's also, like, a meme playlist I have. And, man, it's just mad. I don't know. It's just a weird concept I just thought of there for some odd reason whilst cleaning the lights of this. I should stop being fast with it. I think I need to slow down a bit. Um, yeah, let's do the pillars next. But, um, yeah, no, weird stuff. And again, with the story, hopefully, like, I do move on to thing. But that would mean, then, like, if, if I don't know if it's going to be, because I'm editing volume three, just four and five. Something happens in either four and five. It, I know for a fact there is another point in five where I'm like, okay, I have, probably have to do something before volume four or after volume four but it depends how like volume four starts and that's when i'll have the new volume but that would mean like our like or the total volumes I've go i'm going to have written is going to be totaled up to 14 instead of 13 and if i do well in that and if i have other things i need to add in in between then obviously i'm going to be like well um huh, let's add more because why not you know it depends as well on the thing. I, like, I could just, like, for example, let's say, like, they pass, like, St. Patrick's Day or something like that, and, like, I never wrote a part on that before. Then, like, eh, maybe I could, but I don't know if I would, but, like, I mean, like, it'd be a cool thing to write about, because when's the last time a light novel has gone over the St. Patrick's Day and the significance of St. Patrick's Fuck, now I actually want to do that. <laughs> but, um, whatchamacallit, um... Yeah, let's say something like that happens, and so on and so forth. I can't actually remember my train of thought. All I remember is that I'm going to write a nerve volume, and potentially, like, the current, like, initial 13 volumes could just rise up, like, to more volumes, depending on the thing right now. But I do know, like, if I ever reach, like, the original 13th volume again, I definitely have to, like, stop, um... At that point, whatever volume title, like number it's going to be at that point, whether it be 14 plus. But I definitely want to stop there and just keep refining what I have and then continue writing from there. Because I feel like if I wrote the whole story as it is now, it, it would probably take me, like, no joke, it would probably take me years at this rate. So I'd rather, like, just work on what I have and go from there, you know? And add, like, chapters and volumes as I go. Like, to the initial 13 volumes. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I feel like doing this ground. This this ground doesn't actually look that bad to clean up. Oh, let me do that. There you go. But yeah, man. Busy times. Depending on how things go in the next few days, I might, like look into getting a job again because that's a thing I've been skipping out on and especially like I think I mentioned it last time as well I'm still trying to like uh, get back into driving lessons like I re-recently bought like my I renewed my permits learn it so like it's kind of weird that I'm not using it but at the same time I don't know I just I should just bite the bullet be like okay look I'll be honest with you like I blazed out on it I want to get back into it again I kind of remember what happened I kind of remember some details but you're gonna have to like briefly go over a few things with me. It's just, I don't know. I, I wish I still, like, was close to friends and I could just convince them, like, be like, please, please let me drive with you. Please teach me how to drive. Please. Because, like, it's, it's mainly a cost thing that's holding me back. If it was free, I would have no problem. Honestly, I would literally have no problem. 
Like, maybe if I search for a job where they're, like, training me and they're like, oh, yeah, you have to drive, by the way, but we'll pay for your driving lessons. I'd be like, oh, yup, let's go. Then I'd then be like, okay, now we can get back into the driving stuff and not worry. I'm just worried that, like, I'm going to, like, obviously, I'm going to need a few lessons. But what if I need a lot more lessons? Like, what if something happens and I'm actually really shit at, like, well, I actually know I'm shit at parking and uh, siding up to the curb. Uh, curb. So... Like, what if that just... Like, what if I need a lot of lessons? Like, lessons aren't fucking, like, you know, they don't... They're not, they're not like, always the cheapest thing in the world. I know I'm getting money uh, already, and, like, I could just spend as much as I want of it. And I, I do have a lot of money, but, like... I don't want to, like, just spend all my, like, savings on, like, just being able to learn how to drive. And then not being able to drive for, like, another few decades because I can't afford my own car, like... You know, I think that's why. I'm just thinking too much of the long term of it. But, like, you can't help but think the long term, you know? I might as well just sit here and just casually make videos and search for jobs rather than, like, drive and not be able to actually drive much, you know? Maybe if I won the lotto, I wouldn't have any problems, like, with learning, like, how to drive and stuff. Like, I think I've already mentioned it before, but if I learned how to drive, I would basically just disappear. Like, I would actually low-key just disappear for a good, like, um... I'd say, like, a month or so, maybe a week, depending on how giddy I am. And, like, I'd love to, like, I would try to buy the best components that money could buy for, like, a new PC. And I would, like, make sure we have, like, the best, like, internet known to Ireland and stuff as well. And, like, I don't think I'd get a flashy place. I would just get, like, i get, like, a decent house, you know. I don't want something that's, like, a mansion, you know. I don't think my parents would like that either. And, like, I don't really like it either. I just... I'd like a decent-sized house, I guess. That's really it. Just a decent-sized house or bungalow. Because, like... I don't know. I just... It would also especially be nice. Because, like... This room that I'm in, as, as pretty as I try to make it look... You may notice that time to time there's always, like, um... Mold, like, coming... Up, well, not really... Yeah, mold on the walls and ceiling and stuff. Especially in older videos and... It's just horrible because, like, this room wasn't, like, made to be actually slept in, I don't think. But, like, hey, there's not really much choice. I'm not going to sleep in my brother's room, like, forever at the time. Especially because I was just sick of it. But, yeah, no, I'd still rather have this room, I think. Because at least I know, like, especially in, like, recent years, I've been getting, the, like, use of, like, controlling how this room acts when I'm in it. And obviously when I'm not here, I don't really give a shit. I'll open, like, the window and the door and just let everything in and out. Like, I don't really care. But, um... Whatchamacallit? Oh, this is not done. I must have not cleaned it properly. There we go. Um, sorry, I just thought briefly there on, like, the, um... Two British lads that are, like, the mo biggest fans of fucking Bron Shoe Shoe. Them two are just... They're legends. I love your man's voice. He's like... Oh, right, it's Frog Shoo Shoo! It's like, bro, he's... <laughs> I love that accent. But, um... And they were actually the best, like, dub voice actors, even, like... If you put them up with, like, Frog Shoo Shoo as well. Um, because, like, any time other, like, voice actors come in, they just sound... I'm sorry to say, but they sound so horrible. They sound so robotic-like, a lot of them, like... It's like they didn't care, bro. Come on, bro. Like, you're adapting this to English. You're trying to convince people that this is an actual funny anime to watch. But, like, if people are robots, it's going to turn people off of it, like. But, um... Oh, fuck. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, yeah, volumes. I think I was still talking about the story. But, like... Yeah, when it comes to volumes and stuff and story, like... I don't know. I have a lot of notes. I think I've already mentioned that before. And even with this mini story, I've also, like, made, mi like, notes for that as well. And, like, it, it was just such a nice feeling, like, writing something different. But I will admit, there was times when I was writing, like, the main character's name and thinking about the main character. But I accidentally put down Sherry's name instead of, like, the main character for the mini, uh, mini story's name. Which is just so funny to me. It's like, oh, bro, Sherry's, like, so ingrained into my head. Wow. I don't know why my heart just dropped out. Joe, you revealed her name already. It's cool. But, like, Sherry's name is so, like, ingrained into me. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, this is weird. I'm not actually, like, talking about Sherry herself. I'm just, 
like talk about another new character like in this new story and stuff but yeah if I was to predict how long this like short story would be I think it would be like a similar size to like what volume like one or two would be like in the current uh, main story I'm writing oh yeah I just realized I have to probably differentiate now between the two we'll call uh, one story Mew and one story Sherry just to differentiate them so like Sherry's story and Mew's story by the way, that is not the character's name. I'm just using, using Mew because, you know, like, nobody still knows if it's called, like, Mutilated or Mutant or Mutants or, you know, something like that. But, yeah. I just, the, the main reason I even started the mini story because I thought, like, the way the character is might be interesting to write about. And I was like, right, that's it. That's all the reason I need. Because unlike Sherry, like, this other character I'm writing as the main character for the mini story is actually, like, they're interesting in a sort of way. Let's just say that. But, yeah. Um, what you call it? Oh, sorry. My vocal cords are about to implode. But, like, oh, wait, have I? Yeah, I've been doing those. I think it's just this one now. The subway was reopened again following extensive repointing in 1923 by Mayor Jeff Jefferson XI. Uh, so, his father. The one who was campaigning. It closed again the following fall after the shocking revelation that Wilberforce Trust had been using it to funnel train trucks full of stolen money out of town. Bro, so they reopened... The money was never recovered. Wow. I can't believe they got away with that. That's mad when you think about that. They reopened the station just to have the thing, like, rob you Hey, I mean, like, if you have all that money and you want to get it away, you can spend some money to save some money. You know what I mean, bro? You know what I mean, fellow robbers? <laughs> hey, yo, any robbers in the chat? Yeah, police. Uh, some chat. Yeah, this guy in chat. Yeah, he said he robbed, like, uh, his ma's house. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're on it. Cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this and now I'll finish up for today because I just realized, man, I was getting so into conversation that, like, I forgot to check the time, and it's almost half past. But, um, yeah, no, I can tell you for a fact now that, like, getting this, like, power line extender has been the most handiest thing for streaming right now. And that's why I'm going to get rid of the delay, because, like, if the stream is in sync now, um, all, like, most of the time, and it's not really, like, cu uh, cutting out, unless it's because, like, nobody else is using the internet much whilst I'm streaming. Uh, probably because of that, but if it isn't, then yeah, it's just nice to have, you know. But anyway, it's me, Smiley Jonesy Boy. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the stream. I'm glad to finally be able to shut my trap because uh, I will stop spoiling stuff. Hopefully, maybe, potentially. Uh, if you like this one, obviously like it. Uh, comment on like what game I should play next, even though it probably will be FNAF 4 after this because I don't think Power Wash is going to update again anytime soon. Make sure to also subscribe to the channel if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. But for the Twitch people, uh, obviously, I will see you in the next stream tomorrow. Make sure to follow to stay up to date on that. Oh, wow, sorry. Just before we head out, I literally just saw there the, de the delay like little box tick just turned red. And, oh, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's still staying green now. Anyway, I'll stop the stream before. Uh, yeah, see ya.